Okay, you guys, so you guys are gonna just be with me for a second while I'm driving. And sorry if it's at a weird angle, but I am driving, so. Um, let me see if I can move it up a little bit. Ah. Okay. Hopefully that's better. Oh, probably. Maybe. This one's being a little difficult today. So, anyway, you guys, so I just kind of want to come and talk to you guys because i um you know i moved out or whatever so i'm paying rent and stuff and the way i get paid for my job is it's not exactly on the set day so if you ever work for like care worker or in-home support or anything like that you know what i'm talking about so my rent is always due on the first you guys know that's pretty typical but um i told them i was like you know i don't get paid like the normal person you know i, I don't get exactly two weeks two weeks it's, it's like sometimes they're late and sometimes they're on time but either way i make sure i turn in my time sheet on time like the day it's due i turn it in so you guys they charged me a late fee at my apartment for being late and i'm like trying to find her i'm trying to switch some shit around because number one i don't like to ever pay anything late i don't like the way it feels i don't even like to show up late to events so um she's like well just try to get an order and i'm like i really am trying to work this out because i don't want to be doing this shit for 12 months that really looks bad on me and then when people rent it out to me they're gonna be like well you didn't pay on time not one time you know so i'm really praying that god helps me figure this out so i could work it out um but anyway yeah that's pretty much what's going on like i'm going to the post office right now to get a money order because chill when i tell you when i tell you chill. I'm just so stressed out. I'm like, I just want an alcoholic drink, but I can't even afford to buy wine because I have to pay all my bills. I have to pick gas in my car. Little shit like that is just like, that's what I mean. Like, if you guys can wait and move out, um, definitely do it because it's worth it to save every little penny. Uh, mine was kind of abrupt and, you know, I'm not complaining. I'm just like, you know, it's harder for me because I'm used to having at least a little bit of money in my pocket. Like, you know, just a little something, something. But with paying rent, with gas with all my other bills that I have to pay it's it's getting a little bit more difficult to um sort things out but I'm, I'm really having to be like I said try to be positive trying to just make sure that I understand that this is not permanent this is a temporary situation and I'm not gonna forever struggle like this this is just I, it's a it's a lesson in here that I'm supposed to learn you know it could be just to be better with my money or you know learn how to you know switch things around and um be better at it so I don't know and I'm still like literally my birthday is a month away I have no plans whatsoever uh pretty much my plan is to sit in my house <laughs> and do nothing um this is the last birthday of my 20s i really wanted to do something but um it doesn't look like that uh my mom told me she wants me to come out that way for my birthday i'm probably gonna take off that day um because i have the option to and just enjoy my birthday um i guess i don't have any fucking plans though <laughs> like to be honest like <laughs> that's how I feel about it to be honest so you know I mean the, the post office is always popping what's going on in the post office man? so yeah you guys I don't know I just wanted to come by and tell you guys that I'm like low key stressed but try not to stress because it's literally no parks in this post office I'm trying not to stress because you know I know God is going to eventually work it out so I think if I could just relax and have something I don't have which is called patience um Damn, it ain't no parks. Is that a park? Or... It looks kind of small, though. What's up with these small parking spots? Okay, but I'm going to go in this post office and uh, hit my rent so I can have a place to live still. So, <sighs> I'll talk to you guys later. So, this is the first morning I have slept past 5 o'clock. I actually slept till 7.30. I'm very thankful. Where is she going to fall? There, you're gonna fall. See, I'm so thankful that I got to sleep past. Whew. I just feel so good this morning. I'm so thankful. <laughs> I know that seems like crazy that you get to sleep past a certain time, but I told you guys I've been waking up super early, um, even on days where I don't work. Um, I'm off, and 
Come on, mama. Okay. She was just letting me rub her. She's hungry right now, so I'm going to go feed her. But I just wanted to update you guys and let you guys know I slept past 5 o'clock. Yay! Oh, man. I have stuff to do today, so I actually have to get up and... Oh, she came up here. <laughs> She's so extra. Come here. Okay, come on. Come on. I'm not going to show you guys my face, but... Because I look a little rough this morning. I got bed head and everything. Oh, Punky, please. Oh, Punky. But, yeah, so I have stuff to do today. I'll probably try to take you guys with me. And she falls out. There she goes. Fall out. Fall out, mama. <laughs> she falls out every time. She gets rough. She just falls all the way out. Thank you, Punky. See, she's sweet right now. That's because she ain't eight. When I feed her, though, she's about to act a fool. I don't know what it is. If she gets energy or something. Sometimes after she eats, she's kind of nice. It just depends on how she feels. <laughs> yes, pumpkin. But yes, I didn't want to show you guys Paris the whole time, but I just wanted to update you guys because I told you guys on my Q&A I couldn't sleep past five here yet, but... Maybe I'm getting used to it. I've almost been here a month. Today is, I believe it's the 9th. What's today's date? The 9th? Oh, the 9th. So I'll be here a month on the 14th. So, yeah. I think I said the wrong date. But it's okay. We digress. We digress. <laughs> Y'all, like I told you guys, I don't really know how to braid, like, French braids. But I did one. I don't know if you can see it, but... I did this all by myself. It's just a practice braid. And I don't know how it looks because I haven't seen the mirror. But if I can't actually braid, I'm going to start braiding it like this myself. Because I just be leaning two little plaits. And, you know, my mom braids my hair really good. And I want my hair braided so bad. So, And if you see, like, little white marks in my hair, it's not dandruff. It's, like, a perm uh, scabs. See how it's just coming out of my head? Yeah, I get scabs when I do my perm. So I have to wash it and then deep condition it and oil it up really good. And the scabs kind of like release when I do the deep conditioner on it up. But I'm so proud of myself. I braided my hair. So you guys, this is going to be another behind the wheel talk, okay? Okay, so you guys know that um, I have a credit union. I don't have like a bank bank. So, cause I don't have an actual bank bank. Um, I'm gonna just go to March Lane actually. Um, because I don't have a bank bank, I my credit union is out in Oakland. So when I'm not at work, I don't have access to my credit union. So, I know there's credit unions out here in Stockton, right? So, I'll try to come out here and actually um, go to the credit union. All I wanted to do was get $10 and quarters because I have to start doing laundry at my place. Um, I, I've got, um, the last time I got quarters, I got it from Bank of America. Um, and they didn't give me no problems. They wasn't like, you're not a member, you can't get quarters. Why well, I go to this damn credit union... Um, and they're like, oh, well, you have to have a membership here. You can't get quarters. Nigga, it's just quarters. Like, it's not that fucking deep, right? So I'm like, for some quarters? So I didn't even make a big deal about it. I was like, okay, whatever. Don't buy much matter to me. I'm going to go anywhere I need to go and get my quarters. So I'm like, I might as well just go back to the same bank because I don't think there's anyone closer around here. It's not that far from me, but it was just like... The credit union is literally a half block and a half from my house. And then I have to go a couple other places, but it's just like, <laughs> it's such a hassle to get some quarters. Like, bruh, it's quarters, my dude. Like, I'm giving you the $10. So it's not like I'm just like, oh, can you just take it? I could see if I only had a card. Move! 
I could see if I only had a card, then I'd be like, okay, well, you know, I'm not making this very simple, but I have like cash on me right now to give them the quarters for. <sighs> anyway, y'all, so now I gotta go to another bank and get some quarters. You see how much of a hassle they making this for some quarters though? Like, it's not that deep. I could see if I asked them for like a hundred dollars in quarters, then they'd be like, girl, you thought. Um, but no, I just need ten dollars in quarters so I could do my damn laundry tomorrow or Monday. So, anyway. Um, so yeah, you guys, I'm out and about today. I forgot to record yesterday because I had to go take care of some stuff yesterday as well. <sighs> I'm going to actually try to go to Dee Dee's and look for like a little toothbrush holder and like the back of the toilet, um, cover, you know what I'm talking about? Like that little fluffy thing. I kind of want one of those. And last time I went, I had found one, but it was a little bit too much for it just to be a toilet cover. I was like, I'm going to wait till they bring that down. Cause you know Didi's always got a little discount. I'ma wait till they bring that down. So I'ma go back and look today, see if I can find a um, toothbrush holder and a toilet seat cover because I do need both. Um, my toilet, my toilet. Wow. My bathroom's starting to come together. My kitchen's together. I have all black appliances. Um, my bathroom is turquoise, purple, and uh, white. Um, which is basically the color of the shower curtain. I got all that stuff from Dee Dee's. <laughs> it was not too expensive. I, don't, I wonder if Wells Fargo will give me quarters. Because I could go right here. I'm going to try. So I'm going to go to Wells Fargo and ask them if they can give me quarters. So hopefully they don't be like, you got to be a member. Because blah, blah, blah. that's actually um, what I like to call um, some buttery bullshit. So anyway, I'm going to go in here and not follow this person. Because they don't know where the fuck they're going. Um, and actually, yep, they pretty much went the wrong fucking way. Damn. So, I'm, I'm hoping I don't get hit right now, because this is all bad. All bad. So, yeah, you guys, I'm just pretty much going around the stores. There is a FedEx office over here I could probably fax from. I don't know how much it's going to be, though. I'm not trying to pay all the money, because I got to fax some shit to the, um, basically the IRS, because they're, somebody stole my identity again. Um, and claim that I made hella money in 2011, which I did not. Um, which is real fucking cute. I've had my identity stolen at least four times. So I gotta go straighten that shit out. But I hope that you guys are having a good day. And I will try my best to record later. Um, but yeah, I'm going here and get this damn photo so I can go about my damn day. So Wells Fargo was a fucking no-go. And I tried to go to FedEx office to fax off papers. They were like, basically, the first one's 250 and the rest of them after that is two nineteen, so I'm like almost fifteen dollars to fax off seven papers, cause you know they don't add on tax and shit. I'm not here for this shit. Like why? Why can't I just have a simple experience? This is why one of the reasons I don't like living out here is because it's hard as fuck to find a bank to give you quarters. It's hard as fuck to find somewhere to fax stuff. It's like. <sighs> I'm going to calm down because I'm highly agitated and I can sense my agitation. You know, I'm going to just relax my nerves and talk like this because, you know, when I get out of hand, I can tell what's the problem. So she was like, I was like, okay, I'll be back. Because I was like, who, who won't pay $15? And when you're on a budget, you don't understand. Like, if you're on a budget right now, you're trying to save every little penny. Oh, my God, motherfucker. And I hate when people just walk out like that and they see you trying to come out. They do that everywhere, though, not just out here. She's talking about it's an office max or depot or some shit down here. I'm going to go see what they say. Hopefully, it's better than a fucking... I should have known going to... Um, what's it called? FedEx. Shit's expensive as fuck. So, I'm going to go to office depot. Hopefully, they're a little bit cheaper. Um, <sighs> I'm not in the fucking mood. At all. Like, at all. Okay, girl. All right, so I'm going to go in here. I will update you guys if I can. Remember to update you guys. I'll just talk to you guys later. So, you guys, update. <laughs> I actually ended up faxing at Office Depot. It was not that much less expensive than Office Mat. Office, yeah. Hi. Good afternoon, ma'am. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm okay, how That's are you? Good. My name is Tariq Muhammad. And we're just trying to get this information to the people. Mm -hmm. You know, the system in which we live is very corrupt and it feeds the people a lot of lies. 
And that's why this paper was designed to give people an alternative to the lies and give them information that's truthful. Right. You know, we ask for two dollars, but we'd be blessed to receive anything that you're willing to give for the newspaper. I don't have any cash on me. I'm so sorry. No problem. No problem. <laughs> thank you for your time, ma'am. All right. You have, have a good day. day. You too. Thank you. I don't carry cash, so I feel kind of bad when people ask me for stuff like that. Cause like, anyway, you guys, I'm not gonna go into it. Anyway, back to the story I was telling. So I went into Office Depot. And the fax my papers off. Then I came to Dee Dee's because I wanted to look for something for my bathroom, my toothbrush holder, and a um, toilet cover. So they didn't have anything like they didn't have anything I needed at all. So now I'm gonna go to Walmart so I can get some water because I like to drink a lot of water. And I am not going back to Winco. <laughs> that rat scared me straight. Um, so I'm gonna get some water and see if they have something for a reasonable price. Lately, Walmart's been a little bit more expensive. Um, for someone like myself who was only budget. Um, so I'm gonna go do that. Lately, for some reason today, I've been having an attitude. I don't know why. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know if I'm sleepy. I slept pretty good. I woke up around 8, 8 o'clock, um, which is a blessing because I told y'all I couldn't sleep past five. 5 30 i was like lord have mercy so y'all just gonna walk y'all asses in the middle of the fucking street okay um but yeah so let me get out this parking lot before i catch another attitude okay so yeah that's pretty much what's going on i'm gonna go to walmart i really want some press on nails because i have not had my nails done in about um three months and that's because I've been saving for my apartment, moving out. Now I'm just getting little shit like food, water, <laughs> necessities. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like the urge to tap on stuff. My real nails growing, but I bit one of them off the other day because I was like stressed out low key. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's a work in progress, the real nails. But the fake nails, I feel like I can just fadangle them. And I'm not going to be like these YouTubers and pay $40 for some press-ons when I can go to like the, the damn Dollar Tree get some or beauty supply store and get some. And they be having the cute-ass designs. I low-key wish I was in Oakland right now because the lady who I adore, she owns a beauty supply shop in Durant. She be giving me little discounts when I buy a certain amount of stuff or even when I buy one thing. So, next time I go out there, I might get some press on nails. And her nails be hella cute. They be having all kinds of designs on them and shit. And, um, you could have been here just signal and I could have went. God damn it. So, I low-key hate the way people drive out here. Like, they don't put those signal until hella later. Um, stuff like that. So, yeah. That's where I'm going. To Walmart. It's not too far from where I am now. It's not too far from my house. I might go to um, Still Good, which is this place I have stocked in. I sell stuff that's like not brand, brand new. It's like brand new, but it's like either a little piece is missing or it's the packaging is off or something like that. So I might go there and see if they have anything. I didn't see anything for bathrooms last time I went. I'm kind of hoping I don't have to go to too many stores today. Because, like, you know how you get kind of worn out when you go hell of stores um, and whatnot. So, I'm already over it. <laughs> it's only 12.43 in the afternoon. I'm already over it. So, yeah. So, I was off today. So, I decided to, you know, go out with myself. Fuck it. Like, I don't know nobody out here. So, I, I took me out again. I'm like, girl, you can have anything in the Dollar Tree you want, girl. So, you know, it's stuff like that. Little stuff to keep me interested. <laughs> so, you guys, um, I'm done at Walmart. Excuse all the noise, but done at Walmart. I'm pretty exhausted. I'm tired now. And I'm just about to go um, home. About to go home. So I just want to update you guys and let you know I didn't find nothing at Walmart um, that I wanted for my bathroom. Just gonna stick with what I have now. Hopefully I'll get some stuff at my housewarming because um, my mom's gonna spend the night and then um, my housewarming is on July 9th. So I want to go to Dee Dee's 
like I told you guys before, but I found other stuff. Like, I didn't buy it, but I found other stuff that I would like, like a knife set. Because my mom has this really nice knife set. Um, and it has, like, the wooden holder and stuff like that. And I really like one of those. I would like, like, a pot and pan set. They're really inexpensive, too. They're, like, $20.00. Fifteen dollars, something like that, for the knives and the pots and stuff. So, I don't know. I'm not really too much on spending a whole lot of money. Like, you ain't gotta go to Neiman Marcus and give me nothing, okay? Um, I love to save my coin. Damn! This lady don't know how to fucking drive that big ass truck. About damn near hit me. So, yeah, I'm going home now. Plus, I got my little edit tool. It's gone down a little bit, but I still want to go home. Still ready to go. I'm red. To go in the words of Wanda, I read to go. So yeah, I'm about to go to McDonald's and get one of those little frappuccinos. I thought about getting one from Starbucks, but for some reason I've been really enjoying the ones from McDonald's, and they don't cost <sighs> motherfucker. Um, damn, look at the line. I am so over lines today when I tell you people. It's McDonald's almost on every corner. Can the hair air kick in? My God. Um, so I might just skip this one and go to another one. <sighs> I'm really tired now. Like, I'm really exhausted for some reason. It's hot out here. It's draining me. So, yeah, I'm not in the mood to sit in this line at all. So, this is actually bullshit. So, I'm about to go. But I just want to update you guys. I'm sorry, I don't have that much um, to do. I'm sorry I'm not that exciting, but this is my life right now. Uh, besides working, this man's knocking on the wall. Oh, he's not knocking on the wall. He's talking to himself. Sorry about it. Um, but yeah, besides working, this is what I do. So I'll talk to you guys uh, a little bit later. When I'm at home, I'm relaxing. Bitch, you gotta fucking stop sign though. Oh God, people just act like they don't have a whole fucking stop sign. That shit irks my fucking nerves, man. I'ma go.